2017, it's finally done and dusted. It has been a year that has been dominated with politics and, more excitingly, memes that made us temporarily forget our troubles. On social news today, we choose to forget the bad of 2017 as we highlight the memes that made our year, music that made us dance, social media pages and TV shows that had us all glued to such an exciting year. This year, Kenyans on Twitter did it again. It started off with Salt Bay, the Turkish chef who trended worldwide for his way of applying salt on a stick and his intricate style of cutting meat. Remember this? We moved a notch higher to the Mimi challenge that was orchestrated by the character Saitami from the anime One Man Punch. Brands jumped onto it and it was just just hilarious. Then came the Gideri challenge that eased tension through the election period. A picture of Martin Kimoto eating Gideri, that is beans and maize, was taken randomly while in line to vote and it went viral. Only we Kenyans could get the fun of it as Gideri is a fairer delicacy here in Kenya. We made Gideri man teleport everywhere we could imagine, from state house to hanging out with celebrities. And it was also hilarious. Two nasty accidents happened late in the year, of a helicopter over Lake Nakuru and that of the late Nyeri governor, brought to light an eyewitness who was allegedly at both scenes. It's again, he resurfaced shortly after the tragic road accident along the Nairobi Moranga Road today that claimed the life of Nyeri governor Ahome Nakuru. Well, here's a little of what he had to say at both scenes. Hawa watu nasikia wakisema siyo ilikuwa 6, ilikuwa 7, ilikuwa saa 2, wajui ile kitu wanasema. Uh, okay, niko state, kama ni pilot wa state. Mwenye aliye pass ni rafiki yetu. His physical attributes and gadgets while giving his witness account to the media created memes that made us burst out in laughter. More so on the memes that were created of him. Social media. Over 30 million Kenyans have access to internet, according to the Communication Authority of Kenya report this year. This goes to show off Kenyans on Twitter victories over nations that try to battle us online, as well as even organizations, CNN to be precise. Been looking at reaction in Kenya to some uh, rather, uh, let's say, inflammatory comments on uh, on an international broadcaster, which have led to a new hashtag, which is someone tell CNN. Tell us a little bit more about this. Instagram has grown to be the preferred social media site amongst Kenyans and celebrities alike. Due to the obvious reasons, it offers more than other sites, that is videos, photo, live streaming, boomerang, etc. Steadily behind it is Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. This is just my opinion, don't have the statistics to back it. Through the platforms, standard pages on the basis of content creation, consistency and traction, according to me, are as follows. On, on Facebook, Njugush just killed it. Oh my goodness, these videos are just, just funny. There was also a page by guys uh, called the Bed Sitter Chronicles, which they're narrating a tale of a single guy within a Bed Sitter. You guys need to watch it. Yeah, they're also just hilarious if you are not watch them. There are also the guys, the professor guys, those guys, the challenging guys were just hilarious and they did it. On YouTube, hands up for over 25 men. The ladies, oh my goodness, it just, it's been interesting and just, they just blew out. Carla Mutoko, she's been consistent and her content has actually been very, very intricate. Extendella for vlogging, good work, my goodness. I checked out how many videos you do, crazy. And also the real house of Karamwari, I'm actually a big, big fan. On YouTube, the fantastic numbers and the content, the GCT, just been hilarious. All, and also the news houses, KTN, NTV, Citizen, you guys have been consistent and in updating the platform. And Kudos to you. On Instagram, celebrities actually just took over, man. The likes of Larry, Jelango, and the socialites. They actually just did it. On Twitter, um, I'm not really a big fan of Twitter. On TV shows, the trend has maintained to me. Uh, even with Larry leaving, Amina taking over, I think it's just a good move. 10 over 10 has been good. Let's talk on Ibra TV. My goodness, you guys have been doing a fantastic work. Churchill maintained. Sidebar, the political show, Larry Mondo, fantastic, JKL, Little House of. I think yeah, we've enjoyed a lot of shows. 
music. Music is one of the few things that brings us as Kenyans together. An element of music that we fully embrace is dance. And this year we got new dance styles to add on to a growing list. The only other growing list we have in Kenya are corruption scandals and Olympic medals. Two songs did it this year. Zigwembe by Bruce Newton. And Odi Dance by Timeless Noel, Hype Ochi and Jabi D. The two songs had us on our feet and brought joy to our faces as we played both in church and clubs. It is on this note that to bid bye bye to 2017 and Asha in 2018 that we hope it will be brighter and bring much more joy. My good name is Ian Dennis and this has been Social News.